one critical thing about um, uh, the forages is the, is the uh, dry matter content, well the content of moisture. When you treat high moisture samples it's very important that you uh, both uh, treat your sample well, well you take it for analysis quite quickly because it changes quickly and also that your NIR analysis, when you build up your calibration models, that your NIR analysis are very close in time to the reference analysis. Otherwise the sample will change between the NIR analysis and the uh, reference analysis. And that is also a challenge when you evaluate your results. If you uh, take a sample out on the farm, it will change quite a lot before it gets to the laboratory. Uh, dry forages will become easier, yes, because they have a lower moisture content. Uh, but if we also talk about the different methods um, that you can build your models uh, on dried forages, that you take the wet forage, pre-dry it, and then measure it on an IR analysis, um, that is a method that is easy to get good results on your uh, typical parameters like ADF, NDF, crude protein. You will get better results on that than measure on the uh, wet forage sample. And uh, because when you dry your sample and grind it, that will make your sample more homogeneous. And the sample presentation is the critical part. You want to have a homogeneous sample uh, to measure on. I think the sample presentation is the most critical part of the instrument. You want to measure as much as possible of the sample. That should mean that you want to have a large cup, cup for the wet forage. A large cup and measuring on many different points. It should be easy to pack the sample homogeneously in the sample cup. And uh, it should also be as I said, it's a large surface to measure on, so uh, probably you would need uh, some kind of uh, a sample presentation where the sample cup is actually moving to be able to measure on different parts. As the NIR um, light is uh, measuring on a quite small surface in itself, so you have to move the sample around to measure, uh, to measure as much as possible of it. It's a reflectance NIR and uh, the light source, I think the important thing is to have uh, the surface which you measure flat and that is easier to have the light source uh, from underneath of course because it's easier to pack uh, the sample.